Hey ladies and gents, I'm back with another book review and this book is going to be by Christine Fahan. Hidden Currents is the last book in the Drake Sister series. This book is about Elle and Jackson, so let's get into it. I'm not trying to piss teeth tiny steps around books. I'm just going to tell you what this book is about and how I liked it or not, so let's go. Okay, so this book's about Elle and Jackson. Jackson is a friend of Jonas. He Jonas met in the um, military, and he kind of followed Jonas home. Well, unbeknownst, in other books, it came to to acknowledge that L kind of connected with Jackson when he was captured. So you know, L's a seventh daughter, the seventh daughter. So she has all the psychic ability. His, Jackson has psychic ability. We don't really get into what his psychic ability is, but we know he's a telepath. Um, kind of like with a lot of the sisters men, you don't really know too much what their psychic ability is, except for Ilya in Jolie's book, because he's the seventh son of a seventh son. But I regress. So, Elle's tired of waiting for Jackson, you know, to stop waiting around and decide if he wants to be with her. So she just ups and leaves. She's like, I'm done waiting. You don't want to be with me. I get it. My legacy's a lot, because, you know, she's supposed to have seven daughters, and he's going to have to take her name. That's how it works. And so she goes off. And as we notice, everybody, L is an undercover operative. And I don't remember what it, agency she's with. I doesn't really say. But she gets captured. And she gets captured by Stavos Grazos. Grazos? Yeah, something like that. And he's a billionaire from Greece. And this man also has psychic ability which I think the Drakes I'll get into that later so this book I will say is the first book to deal with heavy heavy trauma like the kind she endured as you can see in the later books kind of going in with the sisters the Drake sisters Sea Haven Sisters of the Heart because they changed the name and Torpedo Inc you deal with a lot of physical torture trauma stuff like that so this is like the first book where she dives really deep into it. I will say this. I love the way Jackson heals Elle. I love the way everyone supports her. I love how the family guys come up with a solution to take care of Stavros. Because he's a problem. When I mean this man's psychic ability is off the charts, it is off the charts. He's like uber strong. Now, I don't know if... L could have ever defeated him one on one because it seems the Drake sisters rely on their abilities a little too much and haven't trained. And I could be wrong. If you've read the series, let me know if I'm wrong. I do know L is super powerful, but Stavros did some things to dampen her psychic ability so she couldn't use it. And it created issues with that. Like she couldn't use. Telepathy, she couldn't use any of that. Well, Jackson wore it down and they got married. And guys, when I tell you that at the end of this book, I was like, yes, all of the sisters but Hannah, because her and Joe just got married like lickety split. He was like, I'm not waiting, I don't care. Got married at Elle's wedding. All the guys were like, yo, we're done waiting. We got the license, we got the rings, let's do it. Um, I will say this. I love the last scene of this book. It was sweet. It was kind of nostalgia. And it made me really want more of the Drake sisters. Like, I don't know how things are going when they have their kids. Now, I will say this. I don't believe in any of the books that she's written the last couple years. They've all had kids that are like toddlers right there I still think they're babies but you know when authors write books they follow a timeline so there's no time jump but in us it's been like 10 years but I will say this is a 4 out of 5 it was just a pleasant reread re-listen whatever you want to call it I would definitely listen to it again oops so if you guys need something to read and this book series sounds interesting start with Magic in the Wind Sarah's book Alright guys, have a good night and I will talk to you later. Bye!